Let's talk about race. I've been told that my commentary yesterday on the show, some people liked it, some people didn't like it, but that what was missing was a more involved discussion specifically about race. So let's talk a little bit about race. You know, it's, it's really very hard to prove racial bias. That's why I said I don't think that the hate crime charges against uh, George Zimmerman are going to happen. Uh, we heard from the juror in that interview that race was not really discussed within the jury. That's fine. Here are my prompts for thinking about race in the Trayvon Martin case. Hoodies. Hoodies were a really big deal in this case. And my question is, are hoodies ever discussed in the context of a legitimate basis for suspicion to this extent when the hoodie wearer is white? Is this a case? And I'm ask, asking the question, honestly, is this a case where when black people wear hoodies, Lewis, it's a dangerous hoodie, whereas when white people wear hoodies, it's just a harmless sweatshirt and doesn't inform the overall suspiciousness level of an individual? Well, personally, if you ask me, um, it's more of a question of the color of the hoodie and the hoodie itself. I mean, when I see a person in a hoodie, let's say I were to see a person walking through my neighborhood um, in a black hoodie with the hood over his head in the rain, I would say, I would say that's odd. That's a little strange. Um, would I take it to the extreme that Zimmerman did? No, but I wouldn't consider the color of the person because someone who's trying to cover themselves up with dark clothing, uh, that's what you do when you rob a bank, right? So, oh, so you're saying that it's not the color of the person's skin wearing the hoodie. You would think that if it's a black hoodie versus a white hoodie, that that might mean something to you. I think that would mean more to me. Yes. I mean, if you're wearing a stark white hoodie, that's kind of flashy. You probably are trying to draw attention to yourself. Uh, so you're saying you, you're you're racist against black hoodies, not black people. That's interesting. <laughs> but Lewis, th what I'm trying to say, though, is this to get back to the point is the is wearing a hoodie more of a concern when it's a black person wearing it is what I'm saying. And I believe that most people, when they ask that, they say the hoodie was a big part of this, at least on some level, because Trayvon Martin was black. Uh, maybe, maybe in, in Zimmerman's case, in my case, no, I, I don't care about the color of the person wearing a hoodie. Well, good. At least Lewis doesn't care. And here's the other question. If a 29 year old black man had shot a 17 year old white kid, would the black man who had just killed a white kid have been given number one, the benefit of the doubt that evening and been allowed to just go home, get yourself cleaned up when you're ready, come down. We'll talk about this whole thing. Or would they have been immediately arrested, arrest first, ask questions later? And that's the thought experiment, Lewis, that I think most reflects what we really know to be true about race when it comes to these cases. I think we have to be honest with ourselves when we ask that question. That's some good food for thought. Yeah, I think most of our listeners would probably lean in the same direction as we would on that one. Absolutely. So race in the Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman case. Uh, 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 certainly something to think about, and I, I welcome your thoughts on it.